happy Friday, everyone. So this is great. I'm behind, but it's okay because you know what? I'm, I'm good. I'm fine. Everything's fine. It's Friday. I have the weekend. I have some fun things planned. I have some um, bead room time planned. And I have been hanging on to this for mm, a week now. I sliced it open, but that's as far as I got. So, no, that's not true. I sliced it open, I pulled out the paper, and I pulled out the, <laughs> the Werther's Originals, and I gave those to Shane. And I want to open this today. Um, I know that you probably already saw um, Sam and Rachel, or Sam and Shira's unboxing. I did not watch it, but I do, I do want to go back and watch it too. So, I really want to do this unboxing and do something really pretty with this today. I'm really excited to see everything, like, really see it you know i saw like a quick glance of the colors and stuff but i didn't get a chance to see everything as individual and what it truly looks like so i'm going to flip this around and we're going to unbox sam's bead box for may 2024 earth wonders and i'll be right back all right everyone so i'm about a day late to do the reveal day but that's okay um you might not even see this till monday but um, I'm excited to do this one because I just opened everything up and laid it all out so I could um, do it in order and everything is just gorgeous. So um, this is for May 2024, Sam Speedbox Earth Wonders. <clears throat> Excuse me. Rachel says, being in nature helps me disconnect from technology and calm my mind. I love hiking through dense forests, swimming in flowing rivers. And stargazing by a campfire, I walk lighter and smile wider when I'm surrounded by nature. Shira says, I always go outside when I need to make an important life decision. Whether I'm sitting under a giant sequoia, floating in the crystal waters of the Caribbean, or gazing at the peaks of age-old mountains, I feel clear and connected. Sam says, I have a special appreciation for California's old-growth forest. Some of the largest redwoods here are thousands of years old having lived through millenniums of fires and history. I always feel especially relaxed in the cool shade of their canopy as I gaze in awe. So um, Earth Wonders, our love of nature was the guiding inspiration behind this month's box. To celebrate the beauty of our earth, we selected rich ocean blues to contrast the forest of greens. Highlights of the box include graduated Canadian jade and intricate, intricate cloisonne. Cloisonne. <laughs> I had to like look at the pronunciation because I'm terrible, you guys. The eyes of the owl coins seem to gaze at us with their worldly wisdom as a table cut tree pendant provides protection in nature. We discover not only peace, but also a sense of wonder and responsibility to love and protect our planet. We hope you'll share your creations in our Gem Chat Facebook group with hashtag Sam's Bead Box May 2024. So, um, yeah, there's uh, quite a few things, like the official unboxing was today. Um, there's a bead celebration live sale on the 21st. The bead box extra um, are on the Sam's Bead Shop app um, today, actually. So um, yeah, so this is gonna be awesome. All right, so let's start with the first one. So I'm gonna try to make sure I'm following this correctly. <laughs> I don't want to have an issue like last time. All right, so the first one is Azurite Malachite Smooth Round Dyed 6.5 millimeters, and you get a seven and a half inch strand. So here's that, and that's beautiful. These always reminded me of like little earths. They're just like blue and green, it's so pretty. I love that. There's that one. Then next we have a four-sided pinch barrel, Planet Earth mix, nine by 12 and 12 by 14 millimeter, and you get a five piece set. These are super cool. I love that, if you can see how it's made, it's like a pinch barrel, it says. So I like, I love beads that are like pinched like that. I think they're really, really cool. And then next we have Check glass table cut flower, dark blue silk Picasso, 10 millimeter, and you get a six piece strand. These are cute little flowers. I love these. These are really pretty. Love those little flowers. So cute. 
All right, and then next we have Green Adventuring Faceted Drop Burritos, and they're eight by 12 millimeter, and you get a two inch strand, which is approximately 10 pieces. These are really pretty, and they're faceted too, you guys, so they're really, really sparkly, really, really sparkly and fun. And then next we have Check Glass Fire Polish Rondel Planet Earth Mix. It's six by eight and a half millimeter and you get a 15 piece strand. These are so pretty. There's just a little bit of green in there with the blue and it's really, really sparkly and shiny. Those are gorgeous. <clears throat> next we have a Check Glass Petal Brio Raining Garden Mix. And they're six by eight millimeters and you get a 20 piece strand. These are super cute. These are really, really, really cute. On one side, they feel like a little raised and then on the other side, it has just kind of like a little divot, almost like um, there's a little curve to it. I don't know if you can tell. Really cute little, little um, beads. I love those. This next one, I am like, in awe over and I kind of just want to unstring it and string it right onto a necklace. <laughs> so it's the Canadian Jade Smooth Round Graduated. You get six to 12 millimeters and it's a 27 piece strand. Look at how pretty these are. The large ones are, you know, they feel like they're a lighter green and you have some darker green in there. This is just really pretty. Oh, look at that spot right there. That is really cool. Guys, these are really, really gorgeous strand. That is like the queen strand right there. Then next we have Check Glass Smooth Rondell Green Fern Mix, four by seven millimeters. It's a 16 piece strand. I love these. Anytime they would ever have these little beads, these are like some of my favorite. I don't know what it is about them. If it's like the the solid, like the opaque color on the one side with some little patterns and then the clear pattern on the other. I don't know what it is, but these are, to me, some of my favorites. I love those. Those are really pretty. And then next we have a Pear Brio Copper Crystal 10 by 13 millimeter, and you get a 12 piece strand. So these are really cool. I love that they did copper with this. To me, copper looks so good with green and blue. And those are really, really pretty. All right, so next we have Check Glass Heart Leaf Green Copper. So these are really pretty. They're 10.5 by 16.5 millimeters and you get an eight piece strand. These are really, really cute. I love the copper in that green. That is just gorgeous. I feel like we've been long overdue for a box with these colors in it. Like, I, I feel like these are so refreshing to look at and just, I don't know, they make me feel serene, um, if that makes sense. I mean, beads usually make me feel serene anyway, but these colors are just so calming to me. And then next we have Check Glass Fire Polish Round Cobalt Crystal Mix, eight millimeters, and you get 15 pieces. These are really pretty. So you got a little bit of if it shines like a little bit lighter blue and a little bit darker blue and the fire polish on here is really, really nice. Love those. And then next we have Check Glass Fire Polish Barrel Spring Peridot and Teal Mix. And they're seven and a half by 12 millimeters and you get an eight piece strand. This is really cool because you can see that Peridot Green and you can see the teal and it's just beautiful. So beautiful. And especially when you put down like on a background like this, you can really see that teal come through. It's really gorgeous. All right, and then last, last item for the strands, we have Lapis Freeform Rectangular, Rectangle Nugget Dyed and they're seven to nine by 10 to 11, I'm sorry. Yeah, seven to nine by 10 to 11 millimeters, seven 
inch strand. So you get a lot of these. There's a ton of these. And I love how these are free form. None of them are gonna be exactly the same size, the exact same shape. And it just really makes an interesting piece. I love stuff like that. All right, and now we're going for the bag stuff. So first we have a check glass table cut coin, Tree of Life, and it's green silk Picasso, 22 millimeters, you get one piece. This is really pretty, really pretty Tree of Life bead. I love that. And I love the Picasso finish. You can see it in the branches of the tree. It's really, really pretty. Okay, and then next we have Check Glass Owl Coin Green Copper, 13.5 millimeter, and you get a four, a four piece set. Oh my goodness, they're so cute. And they, the owls are on both sides. Really, really cute. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Look at these little guys. They're just about the happiest little owls you've ever seen. Really adorable. I think those would make a really, really fun pair of earrings. I think those would be really cute. Okay, then, <clears throat> excuse me. Next we have Check Glass Mosaic Oval Cobalt Copper, 12 by 25 millimeters, and you get two piece set. These are outstanding. Look at that pattern on those. Oh my gosh. These are amazing. No matter how you put them, like the shape, you can't go wrong with, with what is printed on it. It, it just doesn't matter. Um, I feel like this would make such a beautiful focal. So pretty. Oh my gosh, I love those. I kind of feel like I wanna do something with those right away. Okay, then next we have Check glass, English cut, cobalt, cobalt and copper, 10 millimeters, and you get an eight piece set. Oh, these are so cool. Oh my goodness. Look at these. Oh my gosh, those are so cool. I need to get more of these. <laughs> I really need to get more of these. These are super awesome. I'm gonna to have to get on the app later and order some more of those. Okay, and then next we have blue sodalite coined pendant, 30 millimeter, six millimeters thick, and it says the tone varies. So I'm sure there's probably gonna be darker and lighter, but I love mine. There are some like little dark spots in it, a little bit of brown in there. This is really pretty. Oops, I'm sorry, I was off the camera for a second there, guys. Really, really pretty. I love that. That is that is needing a pendant. I mean, that is needing to be a pendant in a bad way. All right, so next we have floral close, chlorosanine. <laughs> I said it right the first time, you guys, the C word, okay? Um, heart in royal blue and it's 19 by 22 millimeters, and you get a two-piece set. These are so super cool. The pattern is the same on both sides, of course, and these are really beautiful. These are some super high-end pieces, you guys. Like, these are, these are crazy. Like, I bought some on Etsy one time because I was making something special for someone, and I needed like the perfect bead. And you know, I spent like almost $10 on one focal. It was, they're, they're expensive. All right, and then next we have the donuts too. So we have two little donuts and these are really cute. They're actually drilled right here, all the way through. So you can string them or you can put a um, head pin through them, an eye pin through them. You don't necessarily need to do that. You can, you know, if you wanted to loop some kind of stringing material through the hole, you definitely can, but these are really cute. And these are 16 millimeter. So those are really adorable, little donuts. Those would make a cute pair of earrings too. All right, and then next we have Check Glass 
rounds, crystal copper, eight millimeter, and you get 16 grams, which is about 25 pieces. Now here is some really light earthy sparkle for you. So these are really, really pretty. They have, they're like, you know, they're clear, but they have that copper finish on them and it, they just shine so pretty. Those are gorgeous. Let's make a little pocket for them right here. Oop, there they go. All right. So next we have Miyoki Round Seed Beads Earth Wonders Mix. You get a five gram tube, which this is a lot of seed beads. I'm gonna dump them in a little thing so you can see the colors. All right, static. Some of them stayed in the in the bottle, but that's okay. All right, look at those colors. These are really pretty. So for all you bead weavers, like this is this is really pretty. And for people who are not a bead weaver, these are fantastic spacers. Just tiny enough to where they stand out, but yet disappear in your design, making it look like you. Um, hand knotted your necklace, bracelet, whatever you're making. Really, really pretty. I don't even know where to put those, okay? <laughs> don't even know where to put those. And then last on the list, we have some tear cast. So antique copper um, plated, and they are lead free pewter. They're made in the USA. Um, the first one, we first thing we have is Earth Charm, 12 by 17 millimeter, and you get a two-piece set. These are cute. They're the little Planet Earth. These are so cute. It's just a little baby Earth, and it's adorable. I absolutely love it. So we'll put him right there. And then the last one is a Redwood Pendant, and it is 16 by 29 millimeters, and you get one. So on the front, they have this really pretty redwood. And then on the back, it has this really pretty little like leaf design. And it says, not all those who wander are lost. And that's a very true statement. So we're going to put him right there. And here it is, guys. This is everything. So the retail value of this box is $94. So that is huge. And you can, I don't, if you don't get it, you can actually you know, subscribe through me. I'll have all the details for that in my notes for this video. And I'll also have a coupon code there for you that you can use when you order it and you'll save $5 on your first box. And I feel like this was totally, probably one of the best boxes. And, you know, it's still gonna be in my top 10 of my favorites of Sam's, but, um, it's like it's like neck and neck with last month's box, honestly. It's like right up there. The colors in here are just gorgeous. I love copper. Blues and greens are amazing. I don't know, I'm excited. So how about I go ahead and clean up this mess and then I will get my stuff together and we will make something. We'll make something really pretty with this. I'll be right back. Okay, everyone, this is what we have. I am using some soft flex beading wire in medium. It's the dark blue lapis color. So we're gonna use some of that today. I have my copper findings. So I have a um, lobster clasp, a couple of different size jump rings. I have some crimp covers, which we may or may not use. <clears throat> I have a couple of crimp tubes. And we are using the, um, the malachite smooth round beads in six and a half millimeters and we are using the petal brio in the, the raining raining garden mix six by eight millimeters we are using the pear brio the copper crystal 10 by 13 millimeters and we are also using the little seed beads the um, little tiny 11 11 o seed beads earth wonders mix and we are using the round crystal copper um, eight millimeter beads. So these are what we're using. And <clears throat> I'm kind of envisioning something in my head. So let me 
just put the round ones aside for a moment. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm so sorry, you guys. I'm like froggy today. I feel like I'm froggy every day. All right, so I'm not sure if we're gonna use the green. We might just use the blue. So here's my idea. Oh, and I cut 25 inches of this. So our necklace, our finished necklace will probably be about 23 inches. Um, so that's how much I cut of that, in case you're wondering. So I imagine doing like one of these numbers. Oh, I want to flip that down. So having them alternate, you know, just stringing them on. Oops, I have them the wrong way. There we go. Just stringing them on like this using um, some seed beads in between to space them out just a little bit. So this is what I'm thinking. So just like, kind of like this. I think we're just going to use the blue down here, but maybe what we'll do is <coughs> We'll fish out the green seed beads to keep that going through there. So I think this is, oh, maybe I want it, maybe I want it bigger. Let's see. I mean, we can always take them off if it's too big, right? And then just two more of those. And yeah, and just finding all the little green seed beads. And I'm thinking to put two little green seed beads between each one. So that's my thought. <coughs> Excuse me, and then using the the copper, um, the copper beads and the malachite to go up the necklace, and we can also use a seed bead in between each of those, and maybe I'll fish out the copper um, to go in between all of those. So um, I do like using the seed beads for that, and I don't want to not use them. So I like to use it. I'm going to go ahead and just use them for the, that purpose. So let's go ahead and pull out some of these. I'm gonna leave my other beads in their trays for right now. And I'm just gonna spread these out so I can find the green ones easier. And we'll just have to kind of pick through them. All right, so the first thing we wanna do, let me just make sure I have even, yeah, I do. So we want this first one in the middle here, right? So just like that. And then let's just find some little green ones. And let's put two on and see how two look. These are so shiny too. These little teeny tiny beads are just gonna add like a little bit of sparkle to this necklace right down in the front here. And we'll feed on our blue little petal Kind of wondering if maybe two might be too many. Let's put the other side on and let's see. Because we can always take one off and try it with just one. Let me just put one on here and we can compare and I can kind of see what I like better. Goodness, you guys. There we go. All right, so let's just put one on there for now. <coughs> Oops. Grabbing them out of order there. And let's just try that out and see if we like that better. Okay, I think I definitely like the one seed bead better than the two. I, it just kind of fits a little more snug and I like that. So let's go ahead and take off one of those and put our little blue bead back on. Again, this I'm so sorry, you guys. This copper is just gorgeous. I think copper is probably one of my most favorite metals. I love, I love all the metals. Don't get me wrong; they all have their place in my heart. But copper is probably one of my favorites. Um, antique bronze is one of my favorites, and so is gold. So, um, but I do love to make stuff with silver, and I do like to make stuff with rose gold and gunmetal, of course. Um, 
they're all beautiful to me and and I feel like they all have a season or not really a season but like when you see certain beads you can picture what kind of metal you want with it right away you know um and I see these I see this blue and this green and I'm like oh yeah it's either going to be copper or silver would go would in my mind would be what I would run to and I'm so glad they did the copper because it's so much more um, of a calming look to it, the color is. And it's just so pretty. And these like little beads, these little brios are really cute. Really like these. And I love that green in between. That green is gonna look so good in between these beads. <clears throat> And we are going to just change the color of the seed beads depending on what we're using because we don't want them to really melt away into the design. We want them to be um, stand out on their own as well. So we are going to just change up our little spacer colors. Okay, and one more little green one here. And then let's do this other side. See if I can do this so where you can actually see it. I'm sorry if my hand is in the way here. Oops, I'm upside down. You know what you're doing, Jody. You can do this. You, you got this. Well, you guys, I was so happy today was Friday. I woke up and I was like, yay, it's Friday. Like Friday has got to be one of my most favorite days to work because it's like you're, you're thinking to yourself, well, no matter what happens today, I have the whole weekend to like, you know, think about what I'm going to do to fix it. <laughs> so, <clears throat> all right. So tomorrow morning, I my mom is meeting me here because the greenhouse that we're going to is closer to my house than hers. And um, I have $50 in birthday money that I'm going to spend on some flowers for my flower pots that I'm going to pull out of the garage, wash them out, and um, get my soil and, and plant those. I'll have to share some pictures with you when I get them done. I think they're going to look really cute. So I have $50 of birthday money to go towards that. And um, so we're going to go to the greenhouse. We're going to get the flowers that we want. My mom's already been planting um, out in front of her home and um, we're getting my brother to help her because she really shouldn't be doing a whole lot of a whole lot of that stuff. She's got a really bad back and um, she's got to be careful. But um, so we're going to do that. And then when I get them home, I'm probably just going to let them sit. I'm going to give them a good drink of water, let them sit for the day um, in a nice shaded area. And um, so Sunday I can plant them. Plus I want to, you know, get my soil nice and moist too. So that's easier to deal with and and everything. So um, I'm going to do that tomorrow and then um, I'm going to squeeze in a video at some point during the day and we are going to my sister and brother-in-law Katie and Tim's to have game night. We haven't had game night in a while and she is going to be making, she's an amazing cook and she said that because we come over to her house and she lives um, about a half hour away it saves her from having to bring her, you know, almost three-year-old little boy over to someone else's house. Instead, he gets to stay at his house and play his games and his toys. And, um, yeah, so we go over there and she's like, well, I cook for you guys because you guys come over here. And she is making ramen, like um, homemade soup with, with ramen. And she is doing it with pork belly, like smoked or not smoked but like really slow like cooked um pork belly which if you haven't had it it's pretty darn amazing it's really delicious it has the most flavor it almost like because of the high fat content that's in it it just soaks up all the flavor and it's just so good all right so next i think i want to do i think 
maybe I'm gonna go with these and we'll do some of this deeper blue in between those. Whoops. So, and we're just gonna kind of color block this. So I want to do probably, I don't know, probably like six of these on each side with the beads in between, and then do the green and the blue malachite. So that's what I'm thinking. So let's go ahead and let's do one side here. I really like these beads. These are really cool. I was so excited about like getting this box and just, I couldn't wait to like get it and open it and talk about it and everything. You know, I can talk to my husband all day long about beads and everything, but he just looks at me like I have three heads. So he just, he's like, whatever makes you happy, dear. <laughs> And I, you know, and I always tell him, well, getting another kitten would make me happy. And he's like, well, except for that. <laughs> so yeah, he's not, he's not into having a house full of animals like I am. I could take on every animal that there is in this world and I would be thrilled. All right, so this is looking good. Oh yeah, I like that. And look, you can see the seed beads kind of stand out. Look at how cute that's gonna be. Oh, that's gonna be really pretty. And I wanna make sure when I do end the strand that I don't make it too tight because I don't want these flipping up. I want them to have like a little bit of breathing room in between each one so they lay like they're supposed to lay. All right, so let's go ahead and do this side. And we'll put six over here. And let's dig out those blue seed beads, that really deep blue. And okay, so Sunday then I will plant my flowers. I um, am I need to go to Dollar Tree because there's some things I'm looking for, like organizational things. I also want to take some little quick videos of some stuff that I love to get at Dollar Tree and share with you guys in case you've never gone shopping at Dollar Tree or if you're looking for this little clear um, trays that I have, you know, I'll show you what section you'll find them in. And um, I, I always just like to share stuff like that with people. So um, I figured I'd do a quick little video of my local one here, you know, the, some of the things that I like to get or what I'm looking for, what they have. Um, so that way you guys can see some of the really cool stuff that they have there. All right, so I think we might be done with those for now. So I'll move those off to the side. And now we're gonna grab some of the, oh, I still wanna do two blue ones here, one on each side. So a blue one. I've seen so many people do this and I can never do it. <laughs> I don't know what it is. All right, let's do a blue one and a blue one. This is gonna be really pretty. I'm really excited. I I really wanted to use that Canadian Jade one, but I really wanted to do something that really showed off the copper um, and the blue. And I have enough of these copper ones that I can do a cute pair of earrings to match it. Um, it'll be really, really fun pair of earrings, I think. So that'll probably be next on our agenda. Something will anyway. I say that now, but I get distracted really easy and I'll think of something, I'm sure, as I'm thinking about these beads and come up with something else that I wanna do. And then, you know, the earrings are probably the last thing that I end up making, but we'll see. I'd like to just do like, make like 
four or five pairs of earrings because I saw a lot of great earring potential in here too. And I think I might do that for one of my videos um, for you guys. Um, I always find earrings to be, for me, they're like, they're like a second thought. So I never put a lot of time into my earrings, which is kind of a shame for how much time and energy I put into my other pieces that I make. So I would like to be able to showcase them a little bit more and show the possibilities of earrings. So I might have to get my drawing board out and um, get to work on some pretty earrings. All right, so we're gonna do six of these. Goodness, and we are putting the copper in between because the copper is gonna just kind of stand out like a punch. Look at that. That looks amazing. And one more copper one. And then let's do the other side, same thing. Just want this to be a really cool and fun necklace. And I would like it to be a little bit on the shorter length. So I, after I'm done doing this, I might test out the length on myself and see if it's where I want it to be. I kind of would like to see um, the brios like kind of like fanned out like on my skin. And I think it would look really cool. Like if I'm wearing like a V-neck or, or like um, a lower neck uh, blouse or shirt. I think that would look really pretty, but we'll see what happens here. Oh, I'm gonna need to pause this just for a second, you guys. Okay, okay, I'm back. Sorry about that, guys. I had to step away for just a second. All right. Oops, it's blue. My poor husband, it's his weekend to work, so they're working overtime this weekend, and he's not looking forward to it, but he's been off for a few weekends because he had vacation and everything like that, too, so he's he's saying it's okay. Um, they're, you know, of course, whenever their work gets behind, you know, he's a manager, and he's got to be there, too, to make sure his crew is running appropriately and um, and everything, so it's, it's his crew's weekend to work, so that means he's got to work, too. It's just kind of a bummer for him, but he still gets home at a decent time to where he can um, still have a lot of his day left. So let me go ahead and put this on real quick and just see where it is. Okay, so we still have quite a bit to bead yet. It's not quite where I want it. So I'm debating. I'm debating on just continuing up with the malachite or if I want to do more of the copper and I'm thinking I want to do more of the copper but we're gonna do less so, like, so we're not gonna do six I think we'll do four on each side so I need eight of those and it's gonna be good because these are six millimeter these are eight millimeter and I like the way that looks when you mix those up together like that and it just kind of I don't know I, I just like the way it looks so let's do four of those, and those had the blue bead in between them. There we go. We are getting somewhere with this necklace. We're gonna have so many of these little seed beads left. They are, they're, they pack so many of those teeny tiny little beads in one little container. It's amazing, isn't it?
Okay, so there's our four. Oh yeah, this is gonna be really cute. I'm so excited about this necklace. I might have to wear it tomorrow. It'll look great when I go to the greenhouse. I think it would look really cute on a white t-shirt. It would just, over top of a white t-shirt, it would just stand out so well. Or even like, I think I have like a, um, like a coral colored blouse that I like. I think it would look good with that too. All right. Okay, I'm gonna see what, how this looks, see if I need to add some more of the malachite. Yeah, but not very many more. So I think we'll do four of the malachite as well on each side. And um, then this necklace will be pretty much finished. So let's go ahead and do that with the copper in between. A little bit of color blocking and a lot of shine and sparkle. Just really pretty. And then we'll end this side with a little, little bead. There we go. And then let's do this side. If I was off camera for a second, you guys, I apologize. I'm getting wild with my hands today. All right, and then I think this is gonna be just about perfect. All right, let me check it out. Sorry, one second guys, my hair is all in the way. Yep, I think that's, that's where we wanna end it. All right. Okay, so just shove those off to the side so I don't have a disaster. I can see me like dumping that over and then I would be like, oh my goodness, are you serious? <laughs> All right, so let's get these out of the way and move them far away from my hands that kind of go crazy sometimes and get our ends here so we can see it. So now remember I said I wanted to be really careful and not like make this too tight because I don't want these bottom parts to do some crazy business. I don't want it to be um, flipping and flopping around or being stuck with some pointing up and they won't lay down. So we want to give ourselves just a teeny tiny little bit of breathing room. So what we're going to do is we're going to put on our crimp tube. Yeah, we're going to put on our crimp tube. <laughs> and then we're going to put on our big Let's make sure this is closed right all the way. Because that would be disastrous. Let me just check it and see real quick. Okay, that's much better. All right, so our crimp tube's on. We'll put our jump ring on. And we're going to put our tail through that crimp tube and now we're not going to be able to go through with this beading wire through that little bead there so we're just going to move this down i'm not using a wire guardian i'm just using the strand itself because i do like that blue to show so also too if, if we're going to use um, a 
crimp cover, which I don't think we are. I think we're gonna leave it just the way it is. I would want to give myself even more space. So see, I'm leaving about two, oh, sorry, let me fix that. I don't know why I'm having a hard time today. So I'm going to be leaving about this much space in between just to give it a little bit of movement, okay? And I don't mind doing that with this wire because of the color. Oh, now I got to fix it again. There we go. Okay, so I'm holding on tight and we are whoop, going to crimp it down. Making sure that crimp is closed real nice. Yeah, that looks good. It's a good crimp. All right, so then we can cut our wire Maybe. There we go. Oh, I almost did it, guys. I almost made a mess. All right. I'm going to save him because we can use him in a tassel. All right. So now I need to remember the same thing for the other side. And you know what? Maybe I will use a crimp cover. Let me see. Because I'll hide some of that cord, too, that's um, sticking out the bottom that I couldn't get a good... like I didn't cut it close enough but I'm afraid to get too close and like cut something that I don't want to cut but that little piece is gonna bother me okay there we go that's better let me see if this will fit over that I just grabbed I didn't even Nope, you know what? So we're not gonna use it because I didn't grab the right size. It's okay. It's all good. All right, so let's scoot this down because we do want it to be closer than that. And we're just gonna scoot it down and then we're gonna slide it a little bit back too, okay? So just a little bit. I wanna make sure these lay right. And it always helps when you're using beads like that to get them in the position that you they're gonna be laying before you close off another side. So now for this one, I feel like we don't even need this little jump ring. I don't know why I got it out. So let's just use our, um, our lobster clasp to hook this right on. So I need my crimp tube and my lobster clasp. back through my crimp tube again and just let's pull that down I'm trying to make my loops about the same on both sides but also giving it a little bit of just a teeny tiny little bit of breathing room here because there's a little bit on this side too don't need much just enough to make our stuff lay correctly and then we'll crimp that one down too nice and tight there we go So let's see realistically how much space we gave ourselves at the top. So it's actually a nice amount. So it's gonna slide around back and forth a little bit, but it, it's okay if it does, because what it's doing is creating that extra space that we need at the bottom. So there's not a ton of space. If you, you know, get it kind of spaced out like correctly, it's not a ton of space between the crimp and that final bead, but it's just enough. So let me go ahead and hook these together and then we'll lay it down and check it out and then I'll try it on for you guys. I've already took off my other necklace. So here we go, see what I mean there? Then you can just kind of smooth it out. And here is our necklace for Sam's bead box, Earth Wonders. And I think this turned out really cute. And we're gonna try it on because trying it on is always the key, right? Trying it on just so you can see what it looks like on. All right, I'll be right back. 
Okay, you guys, here it is. I think it turned out really pretty and I think it would look really nice if I had um, a blouse on that, you know, like you can see the back of it, like it like now. And you can see the beads all the way through and my hair is up. This is what I'm talking about. I think it's cute. I think it turned out really, really pretty. And see how nice those are all laying. They're laying nice and flat, just the way I wanted them to be and perfect. It makes me happy. It makes me really happy. And it, you know what? It actually matches my dress because my dress is navy blue with little white flowers on it. It really actually matches my dress. So, all right, everybody, I hope you had a good time. Check out the show notes for information how you can get the Sam's Bead Box and save some money on it too. Um, this one here is phenomenal, absolutely phenomenal. Like I said, it's a $94 value. It's, you know, every month it's a $49 um, subscription but your first month it would be 44 so it's really a great deal um also too if you aren't interested in getting the box right yet but you see some you saw some of the beads that you wanted to maybe check out go to sam's bead box online or if you have a smartphone um, you can download the app the app is super convenient i use the app all the time to do my stuff on i watch my lives with them you know like all their live sales I order through it. The app is super easy to use, way easier to use than I think than a website. So check that out if that's something you'd be more interested in. If you maybe want to just get the beads that you saw me make with today, they're going to be on there. They're on there right now. So you might want to go run over right now and check it out and get them. All right. Much love to you all. And I'm sure you'll see me later because I'm going to try to bust out some more videos tonight. Okay. Have a great night. Bye everyone.